Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I am really excited to make this video because it involves a little experiment and I have this idea in my mind for a while now. So my idea is that I would like to test the strength of these paragliding lines. They are made out of a material called Dyneema Spectra or Kevlar Aramid. These materials are used in uh, military, outdoor activities, fishing industries and as well as you can see in paragliding sport. Normally these lines are supposed to carry with ease your body weight. They have a diameter of 0.66 millimeters and they are still supposed to carry like around 56 kilograms. I personally doubt that but we are going to put them to the test. Dyneema Spectra or Kevlar Aramid are supposed to be much stronger than steel. I thought in the beginning that Kevlar is a stronger one because we all know that Kevlar and Aramid are used for bulletproof vests. So this is 7 times stronger than steel. But Dyneema is actually 15 times stronger than steel and makes it the world's strongest fiber. So now that we know all this, let's try and see how strong they really are. So I'm in the basement now and I have here a cotton thread. I'm not sure how strong this is. I don't think it's going to withstand too much weight. Then I have a second thread, which is also like pretty, pretty stable. It's made out of two different fibers and they are much stronger than the previous one. And then I have this paraglider line, which is the thinnest one. I want to start with this one and then work my way up. See how they are going to withstand all this force and the weight. This is how the lines are going to be attached. First is just the paraglider line. And as you can see right here, the shedding is actually gone and the line is supposed to be damaged and not uh, safe anymore but we are going to be the judge of that and it's just going down like that and right here I'm going to attach the weights and see how it's going to behave so far so good this is already eight and a half kilograms that is weighing right here I am going to attach now this five kilograms and another five kilograms see how this is going to look like to be honest i don't think it's going to hold anymore so let's attach the 8.5 kilograms another 10. i'm going to go out of the way guys i think this is going to break seriously that's it it couldn't stand anymore the weight wow to be honest, even though I was afraid that it might snap for real, I was not 100% expecting that. The funny part is that exactly where the sheeting was off the line, nothing happened. It happened actually in a complete different spot. Okay, so now that we saw already the paraglider line, I would like to see also how it is with a weaker one. So we go again with the 8.5 kilograms and I reckon that this is going to snap. Three, two one exactly gone had no chance whatsoever now I'm going to do the test with the stronger one as you can see there are two different lines together they have to be stronger than this one first test with 8.5 kilograms in three two one well done let's add some more weight I am going to add another five kilograms now I don't have to count anymore. The line snapped. I just slowly released the 5 kilograms on top of the line as well. Let's say maybe 10 kilograms with this line. That's it. But now it's going to get very very interesting because I am going to use the A line. What is your guess without watching the video any further? Do you think it's going to withstand the 8.5 kilograms? So the bar with all the weights plus the 10 kilograms, so 18.5. To be honest, I think it will. Let's see. Okay, so I am going to start again with the 8.5 kilograms. This is not going to be a problem. Exactly. And now let's add the other 10. What do you guys think? Three, two, one. Holy! Yeah, it's holding. I have another idea to test this strength. What happens though if I am lifting it and dropping it to the ground right now? Okay, this is like 30 centimeters now over the normal position. Three, two, one. Whoa, it didn't! Whoa, that's dope! 
I attached now just 5 kilograms to the A line and I want to see if dropped by a height of 40 centimeters if it's going to rip the line again. 3, 2, 1. Yep, it did. But maybe there are just the sharp ridges here that are cutting the line. So that's why I'm going to fix it in such a way that it cannot be cut. Now I just cover the sharp edges and I'm going to do the same test once again. 3, 2, 1. Yep, so it snapped right here. This time are not the sharp edges fault anymore, but the weight. Okay, so I think I am done for now, but the experiment is not over. I have a, even a better idea. So make sure to stay till the end of the video. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so this is the second part of the experiment. I am here with the motorbike and I attached this line to the back of the motorbike and then to the tree trunk. The tree trunk, uh, it's not edgy at all so it's not going to cut the line in any way so if this line is going to rip apart it's going to be just because of the force of the motorbike but first i am going to try uh, just accelerating and uh, see how much force it can pull and if it's not going to rip that way i am going then to go like maybe a few centimeters backwards and then just accelerate and see if it's going to rip Okay, so it worked out, I can see. When I tried to just accelerate and have no slack on the line, it didn't really work. I just had to back up maybe like 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters, and then just accelerate. Didn't take much and uh, it ripped apart. I'm going to double check it now with a second test. So I'm trying to do something else now. I attach this line to these two points of the motorbike. I made here a good knot and it's going all the way to the tree keep in mind this tree is not having any sharp edges it had absolutely no chance i didn't even back up I was just standing and accelerated and it completely destroyed it. So this is where it was attached. As you can see my knot was actually withstanding the force, no problem. And this is where it ripped apart from underneath. These lines are very, very, very strong. Of course, you have to keep in mind that you have over 30 lines holding you to the canopy, to your paraglider. What I learned from this experiment is that, like I said before, the lines are extremely, extremely robust and strong. Even the thinner ones. That's why it's also possible to make acrobatics in the air. My work is done for now. If you like to check out the rest of my channel, I have a bunch of videos, also traveling vlogs, if you like that. So yeah, that was a nice fun experiment to do. If you have any questions, Please ask me, I would really like to, to answer to you properly. I might maybe have forgotten to give you details about how I made this test um, and my setup. But if you want to know more, like I said, just ask me. I would really be glad to answer your questions. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.